Hey, what's up? It's Greg at Fisherman Tech Orders, and today is Thursday, November 11th. I'm up here on the north end in Barnegat Light. Here checking in, give you guys a little fish report update this afternoon, shortly after 1 p.m. Just finished up a great morning charter, and uh, I can share I got into a lot of fish. Uh, I can also share there's a lot of fish uh, around, and a lot of good fishing taking place on the Long Beach Island area. Um, I've definitely missed out on the solid uh, teacher vacation, uh, teacher convention week there. Um, awesome bite that, that went down. Hopefully you got in on it. If you didn't, maybe you heard about it, maybe you didn't. But fishing has been very good since then. It's continuing on still now. Right now, there are uh, big bass in the area. Uh, they're being caught on the beach, in the boats. Uh, Land-based anglers are getting it done. Uh, boat anglers are getting it done. Uh, like I said, I just finished up morning trip. Had a couple beautiful striped bass today on the boat. I uh, had a really good bite going down um, up, up along Island Beach State Park there in the morning. I uh, got some live bunker fishing, also fishing some big jigs, some big um, big chartreuse uh, mojo jigs. Uh, was not trolling. I'm not a uh, captain that, that spends too much time trolling unless it's um, you know kind of last ditch effort. Uh, but right now there's so many fish around. Uh, the last thing I'm going to do is troll around. That being said, the troll bite is good. Uh, anglers catching on the troll, uh, mojos, bunker spoons. Um, it's, like I mentioned, getting in the action of live bait. Um, also fishing three and four ounce uh, chartreuse mojos, casting them, jigging them, getting it done. Uh, right now, there's uh, a bunker guy back there. Where is he at? Uh, Georgie, somewhere behind me, uh, just coming to the inlet here. Uh, we're currently very low on bunker, but we'll have a delivery here shortly. Just waiting for him to hit the dock. I'm gonna go grab some freshies, so we'll have some premium baits in the shop uh, shortly you know, today. Uh, as far as the surf fish report goes, there's definitely fish starting to hit the beaches. Um, get a number of emails from, I'll just call them naysayers that say uh, Long Beach Island doesn't have fish. Uh, couldn't be further from the truth. Mentioned it the other day on a report, there's a number of fish on the oversize. Uh, the bigs got to be going back. Uh, any fish over 38 inches, 38 and over. Um, there's fish being released by anglers off the LBS surf, chunking and also fishing lures. Uh, today, Mike Brophy had a 50 incher, beautiful fish off the LBI surf. Just goes to show there's some really, really good quality here. Um, you don't get the weigh-ins with, with the current regulations. Um, the people that aren't on social media, you're not going to get those views. So um, some of those bites and the, some of that action, some of that um, you know, news doesn't, doesn't flow around like it once did. Um, so I definitely want to bring that to some people's attention. If you're sitting back waiting for, say, big fish at the beach, um, you're definitely missing out. It's, there's no other way to, to, uh, to say, state it. Um, kind of losing my voice here. I've been kind of getting some good fishing, getting a lot of hooting and hollering, uh, a, lot, a lot of good times. So I um, apologize for my voice here, but I definitely wanted to reach out and say, you know, today, Thursday, November 11th, it's Veterans Day. Uh, you know, huge shout out to all the veterans. Really appreciate your service. I uh, definitely honor you and all the, um, you know, servicemen and women, women that served uh, our country, great country, and give us our freedom. Uh, definitely want to have a nice, peaceful, honorable day today. Had a blast on the water today. Thank you. Uh, also heard some really good radio chatter, some guys thanking the vets on the, uh, on the VHF radio this morning, which was really, really good. Uh, kind of really giving some cheers to catching the fish, having a blast. Uh, very rarely do you kind of hear that chatter. Most of the time it's guys uh, kind of bitching, moaning, complaining, cursing, uh, kind of busting each other's chops and whatnot. Uh, sometimes sharing information, sometimes, uh, you know, kind of chopping guys down. So it was kind of cool, kind of, um, kind of gave me chills. That made the hair stand up my neck there when you guys were, uh, you know, kind of thanking the vets and all that. So wanted to, uh, you know, kind of give a salute to you guys for, um, you know, giving the ultimate sacrifice. So thank you. Um, with a couple of things going on right now, I could share that, um, you know, there's good fishing here in Long Beach Island. If you don't want to get in and fish the beach, uh, you can fish the inlet. There's opportunities both day and night. Uh, get out there with some bucktails for stripers, get out with rubber shads for stripers, fish some plugs. Um, you could also get up on the rocks and fish live green crabs for tog. Tog fishing has been very good and tog fishing is only going to get better. Uh, November 16th, just a few days away, less than a week, it's going to bump up. You know, right now it's only one fish, but it will go up to uh, five fish. So be on the lookout for that. Uh, the striped bass fishing is going to continue throughout the rest of the month, uh, right into Thanksgiving and hopefully through Thanksgiving. We'd have uh, some kind of squirrely weather. I almost canceled today. I'm happy I didn't. Uh, stoked I went out last night. I uh, had a charter last night. Got in some really, really good fishing last night in the bay. Uh, Barnegat Bay has some really good fishing that I think a lot of people are overlooking. Um, people look around the bay during the mullet run. Uh, in the summertime and in, in, in the early fall, but it seems like mid-fall when things start happening out in the ocean, everybody forgets about the bay, but there's good quality fishing right now in the bay. 
Uh, I mentioned the water temps in the mid 55 degree range, mid 50s, uh, 55, 56 degrees. Maybe you got 54 in some areas, maybe you got 57, 58, but I, I think anywhere close to 60, those, those days are long gone. Uh, I can share, due to the 55 degree water in the bay and also the ocean and inlet, you have very little temperature differences in those tide swings. That's very important, uh, very, very, uh, very important uh, fact to know. Uh, when, when I mention that, the reason I mention that is because um, we have clean water, dirty water, uh, sometimes colder water, warmer water, fish can kind of snap on, snap off like a flip of a switch uh, due to the water temperature affecting their, their feeding pattern or their, their movements and whatnot. Um, when the tide's moving, fish got to swim or they hunker down, but when it gets colder out, a lot of times they go lockjaw. Uh, most time they want cleaner water. Recently I've been fishing some real dirty water. Chartreuse has been an absolute stud. Last night, Chartreuse wasn't working for me. Uh, it was black and purple, blacks, the darker colors, darker shades, black and orange, uh, you know, black and purple, uh, black and chartreuse is, 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 a, is a good one too. Um, I, I tend to look towards those chartreuse colors, those high-vis colors, the yellows, chartreuses, even some pinks and neons uh, when you get the dirty water. So hopefully that helps you out. Uh, last night was a full-on just mayhem, uh, just a stoking time. So I was happy that I got, um, you know, my charter on some good quality fish, uh, all on lures. Uh, today, like I mentioned, we are fishing some live baits, got some really good quality fish, uh, just about all by ourselves. And then we kind of got run over by the fleet, kind of got mugged by some of the, um, the other boats, which is cool. Happy to see other guys getting fish. Uh, for the most part, things stayed somewhat respectable. Uh, I don't think people, many people know in the fleet when, you know, one, two, three boats kind of are on the, the bite in the morning and then it turns into a five or eight or 10, you know, boat kind of thing. And then 20 boats, uh, I think people kind of forget who was there first and they just kind of run over people's stuff, which is somewhat disrespectful, but I guess it's the way the cookie crumbles. Um, if you guys can, you know, use the, most, the utmost respect and kind of give people their space when there's a tight pot of bait. Uh, try to go around the outskirts if you are aware where the outskirts are. Uh, going right through the middle of it uh, when there's some boats trying to get through there and drift through like gentlemen. Um, kind of shuts things down. It can get, kind of get frustrating, especially when you've been on a bite for an hour and you're just catching fish and then all of a sudden these guys start zigzagging through it, pulling wire through it, pulling mojos through it. Um, definitely gets frustrating, but I understand everyone wants to catch fish. so. Do what you gotta do, but try to keep your wits about you. Kind of understand what's going on. If you see a bunch of boats drifting tight, clearly they're probably on some bait, clearly they're probably on some fish. Maybe observe from a distance before running right in there with some, some trolling gear. Um, might get you to pull that stuff out and maybe drop some jigs and have a hell of a more, you know, hell of a fun time and a lot more uh, fun than, um, you know, trolling through and picking one, picking one. You drop some jigs, all of a sudden it's zinc, zinc, zinc. Every rod's doubled up. So. You never know what's going to happen. The um, more you observe and, and witness what's going on and, and kind of take note of what's happening, the more you might learn and the more you might understand of um, how to better approach a situation upwind rather than running up from downwind and, and, and constantly pushing up on the bait rather than getting up and coming through them with the wind naturally. Uh, it's a mistake I see a lot of people do all the time, whether they're approaching uh, breaking albies, which are here right now, um, and also striped bass and, uh, and other uh, species that are, that are up top eat, eating bait. It happens all the time on the tuna grounds. Uh, some inexperienced anglers always chase from behind, constantly casting the tails of fish. The tuna never see it. Uh, you got to get up ahead of them. You got to get upwind, drift down, and um, you know approach and present in the proper fashion, and you'll have much more success. Uh, hopefully, that brings some educational uh, tips, tricks to you. Uh, if you want to learn some more about saltwater fishing information, feel free to stop by Fisherman's Headquarters located in Ship Bottom. More than happy to share my information and my team's information. Uh, everybody there. He's very helpful. Uh, come in and, and, and say hello. Love to help you guys out and get on some better fishing this fall and throughout the entire year and hopefully next year and through the entire future of your fishing career. Once again, it's Greg of Fisherman's Headquarters. Check us out right on Long Beach Island and Chip Bottom. Uh, also, fishermansheadquarters.com. Have a great day.